papagod. Kaya nga po yung mga in love, hindi ka papagod yan. Pansinin mo yung isang na nagpanliligaw, na in love kahit na uh, lamahirapag siya ng kanyang nililigawan. Dahil sa in love, hindi siya napapagod. O kahit na nagkakamali, nagkakaroon ng mga disagreement, hindi napapagod sa pag-ibig. Tuloy pa yun, why? Because nananaig pa rin yung pag-ibig. Hindi yung kasawian, hindi yung mga kamalian, o mga, uh, mga, mga, yung, yung failures sa life, pero nananaig pa rin yung pag-ibig na yun. Because love is energy of life, hindi. Ano po? Kaya nga po, no wonder our God, at nagkakaroon ng build up yung relationship na yun. No? The more they, uh, the, the, the time goes by, the more they communicate, the more they see each other, the more they become intimate in their relationship. Kaya nga minsan yung mga manliligaw ng mga kalalakayan, ano ba tayo? Tinatanong niya kasi nag improve yung kanilang friendship. Minsan yung friendship, it grows. Nagsisimula sa pagiging magkaibigan and unti-unti lumalago hanggang sa hindi na sapat yung friendship lang. They, they want a much deeper relationship. Kaya nagkakaroon na ng mga ugnayan at nagkakaroon sila ng covenant hanggang sa mauwi na sa kasalan. Ano ho? Now, intimacy is what builds your relationship as you connect with someone and grow to care about each other and feel more and more comfortable during your time together. Nagiging confident kayo sa isa't isa. Dati medyo nahihiya-hiya ka pa. Pero habang tumatagal, ay nawawala yung hiya. Nagiging wala. Wala ang hiya. <laughs> Nagkakaroon sila na much wala. closer sa kanilang Uh, hindi masi doon sa kanilang pag-uusap at yung kanilang pag-uusap na yun ay nagiging uh, closer. Ano po? Now, this uh, only about relationship, it includes physical or emotional closeness. Ano po? Kasama po yung physical and emotional closeness. And intimacy actually begins with God. Nagpasimula ang intimacy sa Diyos. So pagkat ito sinabi ng Panginoon sa John chapter 15 verse 9, Jesus said, As the Father has loved me, so have I loved you. Now remain in my love. Love of God. Because in the Old Testament, God has been known to be a jealous God, to be a God of wrath, to be a God of judgment. But when Jesus came, He proclaim that God the Father is a God of love. And He demonstrated to His disciples. And then He said, Now remain in my love. If you want to grow in your intimacy with God the Father, you have to remain in my love, Jesus said. Verse 10, If you obey my commands, you will remain in my love, just as I have obeyed my Father's commands and remain in His love. Now, love has to do with the commands now with the Father. And then sabi niya sa verse 12, My command is this, Love each other as I have loved you. We have to learn to love. Sabi mo sa katabi mo, let us learn to love. <laughs> Because it is a command of God. There's no one than this that he lay down his life for his friends. Verse 17, this is my command, love each other. He uh, gave to Moses. And this is why when the final week of Jesus Christ on earth, He had given a, a command to His disciples and to His listeners. Because many are questioning Jesus Christ about which is the greatest commandment in the law. And in which Jesus answered, it has something to do with intimacy. When you want to obey the law of the Lord, you can be able to obey everything, in fact, when you have uh, obeyed this command. And this has to do with love. And so, yan po yung pag-usapan po natin ngayon since it is 
a Valentine's Day or a Heart's Day, let us study about the love of God. Shall we all stand and let's, let us read our text in Matthew, attraction with the opposite sex. Second Greek word is the phileo, which means our love for God. And third is the agape love, that is the ultimate love of God that has given to us that we may be able to love others as well. And the negative uh, word of, Greek word of love is uh, what we call SARS or the uh, fleshly desires of love which speaks of negative uh, aspect of love. But God always used the word love with the word agape love and the phileo kind of love. Uh, God wants us to understand how He, how the Father wanted us to, to live in this kind of love. Because the Pharisees took pride of themselves through the observance of the law. Lagi nilang sinusunod yung batas ni Moses. Alam na alam nila gawin yung batas ni Moses. They not only knew it, but they paid careful attention na wala dapat silang mamiss doon po sa 613 law of Moses. They have to abide by them. And then they become boastful of it. They take pride of it na nagagawa nila. Yung mga iniutos na yon ng uh, lumang tipan. And they try to reason out that the implication of the law is to make sure that they are, they, they, they are uh, getting closer to God. Para magang, dahil sa pagsunod nila sa batas na yun, ni Moses, may papakita nila na mahal nila ang Diyos. Pero dumating sa punto na gusto nilang itrap ang Panginoon and tinanong nila ang Panginoon. Of all the commandment, which of the commandment is the greatest? Because there's many commandments. There are 613 laws of the commandments. Which? Alay ang pinaka-importante. And Jesus speaks to them, a law that has to do with intimacy. Because God is an intimate God. And so, ang kanyang sinabi sa kanila is love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your mind. Jesus said that loving God and loving people is the greatest thing that man has to live for. Yan ang pinaka-importante yung bahagi ng buhay ng isang tao. Ang mututuhang mahalin ng Diyos at mahalin ang kanyang kapwa. It is not the observance of the law. Not by religious practices. It's about a fruitful intimacy with God. So today I'm going to share with you three fundamentals of fruitful intimacy. And number one, we have to understand that God is love. We know that. God is love. So that's the God is love. God is love. How many of you have experienced the love of God in your life? Amen. God's demonstration of love is this. In John chapter 13, verse 15, verse 13. Greater love has no one than this, that he laid down his life for his friends. Now this is Jesus. This is Jesus when he laid down his life for us. Sabi niya sa disciple niya, I no longer call you my servants, but I will call you friends. Because I'm going, my, my relationship with you is more than just servants. My relationship is with you is intimate. So I call you friend. And so, sabi niya, no greater love has no one than this, that he laid down his life for his friends. Because Jesus is already telling them how he will demonstrate his love for them. That is why John also took notice of John 3.16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have an everlasting life. God so loved the world because God is love. He gave his one and only son. That is how God demonstrated his love for us. That while we were yet sinners, he gave his son for us so that he would become the propitiation or the atoning sacrifice for every sins. Because the Bible says that the sin of man 
is like uh, sabi, sabi ni Isaiah sa Isaiah chapter 118 sabi niya, your sin is like a crimson blood para siyang dugo na kapag kumapit sa anumang bagay sa tela, sa kahoy, hindi basta-basta na makaalis mancha na siya ganun daw ang kasalanan ng tao at walang makabubura nun kahit yung haing handog ng mga hayop mga tupa o mga uso ay hindi makasasapat para pawiin ang galit ng Diyos sa ating makasalanan. Because the Bible says in Romans chapter 3 that for the wages of sin is death. But the gift of God is eternal life through our Lord Jesus Christ. So God demonstrated His love when He gave His one and only begotten Son for us. And the greatest love is shown when people lay down their lives for their friends. Na ipapakita mo yun kapag ka, you learn to sacrifice your life for your friend. You learn to show them that they are important to God. Amen. Hindi mo i-give up yung friend mo dahil hindi ka niya binayaran sa utang mo. <laughs> hindi mo i-give up yung relationship mo sa kapwa dahil in-offend ka niya at inagaw ang boyfriend mo. <laughs> hindi mo i-give up yung isang bagay na na pagkaisan ninyong magkaibigan o bilang isang mananampalataya dahil lamang sa mga bagay-bagay but you are willing to sacrifice yourself uh, yourself selfless effort so that the love of God may manifest in you and to your friend so what is the description of love? Paul says in 1 Corinthians chapter 13 verse 4 sabi niya, love is patient love is kind it does not envy it does not boast it is not proud it is not rude it is not self-seeking it is not easily angered it keeps no record of wrongs Love does not delight in evil, but rejoices with the truth. It always protects, always trusts, always hopes, always perseveres. This is the agape kind of love. So love, in other words, is patient and kind. It is full of patience. Last night, I was having a premarital uh, counseling. There will always be a time for you, sabi ko. There will always be a time that you 